In this video, I'll go over how to achieve crystal clear vocals using the processing page on the CQ18T mixer. I'll also cover quick channels, the built-in effects, and go over channel presets. Let's start with quick channels. These are like plugins that condense multiple processes onto one page. For example, the quick channel for vocals combines the EQ and compressor to make it easier to achieve the desired sound without jumping through multiple pages. The quick channels use natural language instead of numbers and metering to help make decisions which is extremely helpful for beginners. Some also display a responsive EQ graph that changes as the dial is moved, which gives context as to what's going on in terms of shaping the sound. This speeds up setup considerably as the quick channels can be loaded when first setting up and then be converted to a complete channel. Complete channels allow precise control over each process's parameters, such as the compressor's ratio, attack, or the EQ's bands. Quick channels can be converted to complete channels at any time, but a complete channel cannot be converted to a quick channel. With that being said, a quick channel preset can be loaded on a complete channel if you accidentally convert them. To do this, go to config and load a quick channel on a complete channel. This will reset the processing that was applied to the complete channel. To convert a quick channel to a complete channel, go to processing, then select the track you want to convert. Then go to the menu at the top right of the screen and select convert. This shortcut menu allows quick actions between different processes. For example, using the copy and paste function, a processing chain can be copied from one channel to another. Reset allows full processing of the inputs to be reset for quick channels and allows individual processes such as EQ or the compressor to be reset on complete channels. The quick fire function allows different processes to be enabled or bypassed quickly. The shortcut menu is only present on the processing page and is absent from other pages of the mixer. This processing page summarizes all the processing, sends, and effects that are being applied to any channel. Clicking on one of the processes, we can see in detail what's going on. At the very top, we start with the listen button. This button allows the selected channel to be soloed through the headphones when they are set to listen in the config page. This button does not affect the main left and right output. Source. This section contains the preamp stage if any changes need to be made with a high pass filter from 20Hz to 2kHz. This is good to get rid of any subharmonic frequencies without taking up the main EQ bands. Gate. The gate is easy to understand and is very responsive. A gate is used to mute a track if a signal is below a certain threshold. For example, if a backing singer is not singing for a part of a song, the gate will mute the singer and only unmute them once they start singing. Parametric EQ. This is a four band EQ with the same functionality as many modern door EQs allowing for precise shaping of the tone of the input signal. The high pass filter from the source section is displayed to inform the user that it's engaged and can be adjusted. Each band has a gain range of plus or minus 15 decibels and also has a real-time analysis function to get a visual representation of the input signal. The smart rotaries automatically get assigned to the selected band's parameters such as frequency, gain, and Q. This happens throughout the UI and is coordinated by the LEDs on the smart rotaries that correspond to the parameter's color. With the use of the touch display and the smart rotaries, an EQ shape can be achieved relatively quickly. Compressor. This is the final processor in the chain and is fairly advanced. It has two detection modes, RMS and Peak, with hard and soft knee for compression type. It has a good range on both attack and release time, and the ratio can be turned up to infinity, which means this compressor can act like a limiter if you wanted to. The compressor is very clean and doesn't introduce any character of its own to the sound. The metering throughout the processes is very accurate and responsive. Presets are available for the gate, parametric EQ, and compressor for when you need a place to start from. Effects and Sense on the processing page, the selected channel can be sent to six different outputs or the built-in effects. There are two ways effects can be applied to the channels. They can be inserted or treated as an AUX send. Inserted. This means, for example, a reverb effect can be put on input 9 so that only input 9 has that reverb. With this method, up to four separate effects can be inserted on up to four inputs. AUX send. Unlike the inserted effects, the shared effects state allows for multiple inputs to be routed to the effects unit. This is useful if you want multiple instruments or singers to feel as though they are in a similar space. All the inputs can be routed to four effects sends with the ability to route the effects into each other. For example, I can send some inputs into effects 1, then go to effects 2 and send all of effects 1 into effects 2. 
the send level to the effects unit can be configured through the effects section or through the processing section. There are six built-in effects processes with loads of presets. I've categorized these effects into three groups, reverb, delay, and modulation. Now to achieve crystal clear vocals using the quick and complete channels, first, I'll set the gain so the input signal is not clipping. This can be done using the auto set feature in config. I prefer to leave the auto gain feature on to prevent the signal from clipping further. Then I'll turn up input one in the fader page so it can be heard through the PA system. Here is a sample of the voice I'll be mixing. The more perceptive placed him quite simply on the level with Haydn and Mozart. As early as 1812 in the writings of the finest contemporary music critic E.T.A. Hoffman, who loved Mozart so much that he changed one of his names from Friedrich to Amadeus. Using the quick channels. I'll go to config and load the voice presets on the input. Then I'll turn the dial and listen to the difference at each point. The more perceptive placed him quite simply on the level with Haydn and Mozart. As early as 1812 in the writings of the finest contemporary music critic E.T.A. Hoffman, who loved Mozart... After listening, I like this mode for this voice. I'll also engage the high-pass filter and the compressor to clean up the vocal and maintain a good dynamic range. ...set by their side except Gluck, who stood out for the seriousness and integrity of his conception of opera. Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven, Hoffman wrote in 1840... If I feel that the vocal is still not clear enough, I'll turn up the mid and high on the EQ at the bottom right hand of the quick channel. If you want, this quick channel can be converted to a complete channel using the convert function in this menu. Now, I'll apply the same processing using complete channels. First, I'll roll off the subharmonic frequencies using the high pass filter at around 100 Hz. Then, I'll EQ the vocal to get rid of some low mid frequencies and boost some high frequencies to make the voice clearer. Then I'll go to the compressor section and set the threshold. I'll set the detection to peak mode and set the ratio quite high, about 4 to 1. I'll set the attack and release to be fairly fast and finally boost the gain to make the vocal the same volume as before the compressor. If I want the vocal to be even clearer, I'll boost the 2k range in the parametric EQ as our ear is more sensitive to this frequency band. I'll be careful here as by turning up this frequency too much in a lot of tracks can lead to a harsh sounding mix. Here is a before and after of the vocal. The more perceptive placed him quite simply on the level with Haydn and Mozart. As early as 1812 in the writings of the finest contemporary music critic E.T.A. Hoffman, who loved Mozart so much that he changed one of his names from Friedrich to Amadeus, these were the gr three great figures, and there was no other to set by their side except Gluck who stood out for the seriousness and integrity of his conception of opera. Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven, Hoffman wrote in 1814, developed a new art.